Okay, so it's Friday the 12th of May. It is 30 degrees outside. It is cloudy. I am sweating from places I didn't know I could sweat from. But other than that, life is good. Life is, it's Friday. I just finished work. Friends are coming over tonight. Probably like seven or eight, nine friends are coming over. So I'm gonna cook some like snacks, some kind of pick and, pick and eats. So this video is gonna be dedicated to showing you some sort of foods you can cook for a crowd. But first we have to go to the gym. Oh, hold on a second, there's something on my screen. Quick gym session and then we'll get on with it. fill you in a little bit here it is pissing rain outside so this party is moved inside but the marinara sauce is on to make that it was literally just a jar of posada sauce chopped up onion garlic basil and oregano just fry that off quickly add posada add two or three tablespoons of ketchup or sugar so to cut the acidity of that tomato and gives you that classical posada or pizza sauce flavor so that is just bubbling away now as we speak meatballs are in the oven now they're baking into them that was purely just the meat salt pepper basil paprika one egg a handful of breadcrumbs and got my hands in there mixed it all together and then roll them into little balls into the oven 15 20 minutes finito right now i'm getting the onion rings ready so all i'm doing is just skinning an onion putting it into like inch sized pieces then i'm going to dip that in flour egg and panko breadcrumbs when they come out of the oven the onion rings will go in so if we have a system going i will all thought of in my noggin after that i will make the guacamole for the nachos we have the chips got already we have salsa and then I have pre-made pizza dough. So I will get this out, I will roll it, and we will make mini pizzas using that tomato sauce, which will also go with the meatballs. We have some salami, some onions, some ham, some fresh herbs, a lot of just like picking foods. When you're cooking food like this, you have to be organized. You have to know what you're doing, what's being cooked when, because I know this tomato sauce will do best when it's cooked the longest. Whereas, whereas the guacamole I'm gonna make last so it's fresh. Mini pizzas can go in near the end because they're only gonna take a few minutes to cook up. Because the dough is already made, if it wasn't, I would have had to start with that. So again, like everything, it's about prioritizing. It's about getting your ingredients ready, having a plan in mind, and just enjoying the process. This. It's tasting amazing. Oh my God, I love that. That was the first time I used my fresh herbs in the garden. So this is a big occasion for us in the fit kitchen, me and you, okay? So, so I will check in with you in a little bit. five hours later everyone is gone food is served food is all eaten so good signs all around a really enjoyable evening and now I am fit for bed let's go and get a coffee sit down and talk for a second just to fill in the blanks because it has been a pretty crazy weekend. Dinner party was a huge success. Everyone was fed, all the food went down well. There was no disasters in the kitchen, which is always a good thing. So it was a great night and there's nothing I love more than cooking food for people. One of the reasons that I love to cook so much is to be able to feed other people and you know, get their reaction, see hopefully the enjoyment they have in the food. So it's something that I love to do and I think it's why I love cooking so much is seeing other people's reactions and emotion to the food and to the food you make. So. That was a huge success. But Saturday we were up early, straight to the coffee shop and got my work done. I don't talk about it much here, but my main like income and job is, is nutritional coaching. So that's meal plans with set recipes with calories for either weight loss, muscle gain, whatever it is. So if that interests you, then the email will be here. Send me an email and I can send over the questionnaire. But that's always what I do on the weekends, the morning time especially, I get that done out of the way. It's Saturday, I had a soccer match with my work team, and this happened. 
Ah. Ah, Jesus. Ah. So both my knees were completely cut open. It is now like Wednesday and you can see they are both still extremely badly scabbed. What's well, been like four or five days now and they're still really badly cut open. That is a commitment we give to everything we do. Even though it's a similar size soccer match, we give it everything, we put our body on the line. I don't mean that, it was an accident. I fell and it really hurt. Then on Sunday, we went on a hike down to the south of the island to a place called St. Peter's Pool. So that will be the edit for this video and that's gonna happen in three, two, one. see me I would be in the south of Italy in Catania in Sicily so until then thank you so much for watching as always hit the subscribe button if you're new here join the familia because we are constantly doing stuff on this channel and as always keep on cooking ciao ciao Drop the camera. <laughs>